At last, all our waifu has been collected and it's kind of crazy the amount of bias, the amount of attention to detail, the amount of budget put into Rory Mercury. This goth lolly is apparently some kind of oracle. She's like from a cult and her entire, you know, goth lolly uniform is like the official uniform of that cult or some shit. Kind of funny to me. Sounds like there's someone cultured over on that side. Now we did like defeat the fire dragon, but the fire dragon survived. And now I think we've pretty much like saved everyone in terms of how, you know, like they're displayed. So, you know, there's people going to different places and now there's some stragglers and we have Roy Mercury to talk to. Let's begin today's reaction. It is Lele that's uh, narrating this, right? Several days before the fall of the Elven village, yeah? Chuka Luna Marso. Chuka Luna Marso. Chuka. Fire Dragon! The breath attack is insane. <laughs> you just throw the daughter into the well? Dad, you should have fucking jumped in the well too. What, you think you can protect anybody against that fucking dragon? All right, he eats the daughter into the well, saves her. Oh, Tosan, you could have totally jumped. Maybe to distract the dragon. Oh, that's a lot of skin in, in the well. Hello. <laughs> Where? The dragon did have the arrow in the eye. It must have been from the elf village. Whoa, this is like a uh, three uh, six sided star. Anyway, at a certain village. I bet, like, us, they're, they're sp so this is more military propaganda, huh? The tavern girls are also spreading, like, the stories of us. So, like, they're gonna be like, wow, you're those military people from Japan. <laughs> Princess. Princess of the king, the Giga Chad king. You schemer. Mm, the rumor. Band of mercenaries in green clothing? I guess the fire dragon in this world is fucking insane, right? In terms of like the scaling, like tier list, like it's an S rank threat and like random people showing out of nowhere and like saving people is like a huge deal okay how does the fire dragon rank <laughs> fucking bribes okay. magic weapons <laughs> excuse me Excuse me? They had a magic weapon that looked like a giant, a great iron cock. The actual cock? They're talking about the RPG, right? They're talking about the RPG, but like... <laughs> Lady! Tavern girl! You shouldn't say words like that! A great iron cock?! Maybe it's just, yeah, they could, if the, what in the Japanese, wouldn't have they said like chinko or some shit? Oh, chinpo or some shit, but like, <laughs> Crunchyroll sells me wild in. Oh, we came back home, that's what that was. Or is it home or is it our base? It's our base or home? Based on Arnus Hill, right? Nanika,分かったか。言葉で苦労はしていますが、おおむね見た目はほとんどが人間タイプで、農林業などがしたい。ご覧ください。各集落には村長のような存在がいるようです。報告はまだありません。We still don't have knowledge in the empire either. These are just village boonies that we have. Em。意思疎通に難がある状況ではまずいだろう。あとあと。this is where Itami comes in clutch again because we have yeah exactly we got several refugees so we can use them. Promote him again. 
So far from the army side, I don't see anyone evil, you know? They all seem pretty decent. So, like, military is literally giving us a reason to form a harem, right? Like, yes, it's the other refugees too, but it's like, we are legally obligated to now look after the refugees, aka Lele, Elf, and Rory Mercury, most importantly, right? <laughs> I think Kuribayashi counts in part of the harem, too. Did bro just mog us? Did bro just mog us? Yo, he's showing us a jawline right there. What the, what the fuck was this, bro? <laughs> just twirls his fucking hair. He's a good guy. No, he's just a good person. He's looking out for them. Chicken rice. Whoa, that canned food looks really good. What? 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 Elf? What? What was that? Wow. Abundance of resources and no pollution. You know what we should do? We should show them fucking democracy. Show them some freedom. Some liberty. Bring the fucking oil back onto Earth and pollute this land. Extract everything. That's right, brother. Gonna show them a little bit of democracy. Wouldn't they all try to invade Japan from the gates, right? Like, wouldn't the Americans want to fucking do that shit? This is actually very interesting in terms of the long-term game, right? Because, like, we're thinking about the conflicts in the Isekai world, but, like, what about back on Earth? And we've already seen the American president talk and, you know, different, like, world leaders get interested in this topic. So, like, they would intentionally start war to claim the gates, right? The real enemies are back on Earth? Itami has become like the most important person in Japan now because of that. Oh yeah? How much freedom? Alright. I don't think Itami realizes what kind of position he's in. He's a sage. Lolly Mercury. Oh. Chuka. Chuka Kin. Chuka and Kuribayashi. What's going on? Does the wait, wait, wait. Is Chuka rizzed up by Kuribayashi? Is Chuka into girls? Whoa, 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 she, keeps, she keeps being all fucking, you know, all awkward around a Kuribayashi specifically. I know her dad died, but why in front of Kuribayashi? CGI! The power of modern technology, look! Behold! Lazy ass age. He's talking as if the dad's alive. No, no, no. She's saying that if dad was still here, right? She doesn't believe her dad's alive. Oh, that's gonna be a tough topic to handle later on. <laughs> Lele was sniffing there. Hmm. Lele is just super interested in everything, huh? Oh, daikon. They don't daikon. exist in this world, right? Yeah, this kind of vegetation. This is probably the most basic meal that we made, right? But like to them, it's gonna be like gourmet. Um, Umai! Umai <laughs> Takes a bite of the most simplest fucking bread. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yes, it's soft. <laughs> yep. Wow, Lele is so smart, huh? She's like uh, observing everything, already understands like the cultural norms of like praying before the food and itadakimasu, okay? Ita. Wow. 
She catches on very quick. Back on Earth. Limousine. The real evil people. President Deshodong. What, what nation is this? China? Where is Xi Jinping at? So now we got the Chinese involved. We have the Americans, the Chinese. Who else are we going to get involved? You want to send half of China into the isekai world? God damn, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, it was a fucking dragon and shit. I don't know. There's a lot of politics going on outside, huh? Several days later in the special region. <laughs> I just feel like Lolly Mercury is gonna somehow find her way in and sit on Itami's lap in the hot spring, like a hot tub here. Like, doesn't it feel like something like that's gonna happen? Emoji. No? Okay, there's men and women. I don't know, you would think that Lolly Mercury would do something like that, right? <laughs> Lele, is that you? Lele. Lele. Interested in the gas mask. Lele is awfully cute. She, there, there's something so like uh, compelling about this cute little girl that's so curious about everything and it's kind of soft-spoken. I, I get the Lele appeal now. You, you can't tell me Rory is the best oracle and then suddenly type FBI in chat as soon as Lele shows up. They're both fucking prepubescent girls! They look like lollies both! Ooh, the three girls. It's all outdoors, right? The temple is pretty bougie. So an apostle is basically... What, 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 let me search this word up. The, the term apostle is basically, that's a negative stigma, right? It's a person who initiates a greater moral reform, who first advocates it, blah, blah, blah. What makes a person apostle? In biblical terms, a, uh, uh, these are bad examples. What is an apostle versus a disciple, right? An apostle is a messenger or one who is sent, while a disciple is a student or a learner. So apostle needs to go out and spread the word of this cult, while a disciple is in training and basically stays in the temple is what I'm understanding, right? So in Mushoku Tensei, the apostle of the human god, Hitogami, Rudy... So Orsta thinks that we're up we're getting off topic right now, but the the apostle definition, I guess, is because Rudy's going around spreading the word of the human god. I see. I never really understood the term apostle, but that's a totally separate anime. Yeah, you should you should shower at least once every day. You stinky girls. And Shuka wants to reciprocate that? Blush? I think it's over. <laughs> I, th I think she is completely like folded, right? Hmm? Oh, so even the canned food stuff? You know how she was like shying open Kuribayashi? She feels guilty. That's what that all was. I'm like, why is she being so like, you know, uh, I don't know, not, not rude, but just kind of avoiding, you know, like Kuribayashi and like the other people. It's like, oh, because she feels guilty. <laughs> You're saying that so casually. <laughs> Everyone lost their family here. <laughs> so funny because you know they're speaking fluent Japanese and everyone else speaks Japanese but there's a distinction in the language of the isekai world in Japan uh -huh. we're warriors we should bring them back to Japan actually I'm not sure if that's a good idea might not be a good idea to bring them back to Japan yeah and outside the gate like they think like some happy thing's gonna happen if they go outside the gate but it's like no, there are people, nations, world leaders that's gunning to get in the gate and take all you guys. Like, ah, ah, I don't know, man. 
Pinya Denka. How the fuck did he live? This is the one guy that was walking through the fucking, you know, all the gunfire and he still got the arrow shot, dude. And didn't he get hit with the fucking artillery at the end? How? Wait, 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 wait. How the fuck? That's crazy. He lived that? Arnus no Joho wo tansak chu. Koko ni kouki na kata ga kizutsuite irashare to kikimashite. Hime wa Arnus de nai. Maybe he's like an important character, like a reoccurring character. Ware ra shoukoku gun. Yeah. There wasn't even a fight. It was like a demonstration of power. Ooh, the princess is now gonna understand, you know, that her dad basically ordered all this to call them, and then maybe she'll realize that holy shit, maybe there's something else going on. Yeah, he understands. He understands it all. Poison the wells. Take the livelihood. That's right, the Empire. Yeah, dun dun dun. Your dad! Your dad, Pina! What was that? As soon as she touched him, he was like, <laughs> Big on wench! And if you go to the Arnest Hill, I guess they'll meet with Itami pretty soon, huh? That's exactly what we're doing. Hey, we're going to go to the hill then, yeah? Bro's name is Gray? Italica. Is this supposed to be Italy? Italica? Is that just Italy? <gasps> These girls are so fucking disappointed in Itami right now. They're like, ew. Is he playing his fucking magical girl fucking gacha game? Yes. <sighs> No, you're the captain! They did, though, multiple times. Chukasasi? For dad. This is a difficult conversation we're gonna have to have. She still thinks dad's still alive, so she's saving everything for dad, but it's like. Oh! Oh god, how are we gonna tell her? Wait, she's a rare elf? Imaginary dad. Imaginary dad, kind of close. <laughs> this refugee camp is better than the forest where she grew up in. Uh, Itami will provide. Damn. The Dujins are fucking riding themselves. Surely there must be some kind of fan fiction where this actually happened, right? No, you don't have to sell yourself to the hill soldiers. Lele again. Lele again. Dude, this gas mac Lele is actually so funny. I don't know why it's so cute. <laughs> she loves that mask. How much money would that be? Oh, we can become fucking millionaires! Thank you, Lele. Thank you, thank you, Lele. I don't think they would ever have to sell themselves, but all right. Learn how trade works. Okay, let's get into the merchantry here. That is... Oh... oh. <laughs> Yeah, and the fire dragon also has one less that arm now. The way that Rory Mercury talks is so seductive. Everything she says is so sexual. I don't know why. Chuka Belly versus Kane Belly from Frieden. Cause they do show. I think Kane shows just her entire fucking stomach, right? So Kane versus Chuka. <laughs> 
民間人に被害が出た状況について国会が承知したいとのことだ伊丹に伝えないとなあいつはあー is this Italica technically an isekai map? Uh, mm, it's more not sir. It's not completely circular. I don't know. It's, 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 it kind of is almost there. It almost looks like a template for the isekai map, right? Kind of. Jesus, that's another episode. Jeez, that was, that was so fast. I was getting so into the fucking world. But okay, what, what is the most important thing to happen? I think the most important things, like the plot points is, I guess, that the princess is kind of out to like learn about what happened and maybe soon she'll discover that the empire i mean the king pretty much said that the empire is the true villains but she needs to figure out for herself like what is it exactly my dad is doing and maybe she'll meet itami and realize that oh hold up let's go fucking back to the empire and clear them out maybe she like has like a has like a, she starts the coup against her own dad i don't really know there is um other stuff that's happening back on earth which is super interesting with the politics of like you know uh, whoever has all the resources wins, right? In terms of like uh, politics and geopolitics in Japan, right? So it's like if the, if the gate only exists in Japan, then everybody else, like China is interested, America is interested, everyone's gonna be kind of gunning for Japan to get all those resources. So I'm not sure how this is gonna progress, but the world building is very insane, not only in just the Isekai world, but back on Earth too. And this is gonna be a very difficult topic to bring up when, you know, Chuka, we, we gotta tell Chuka, we gotta literally slap Chuka in the face and be like, stop being a fucking schizo. Your dad doesn't exist anymore. Wake up! <laughs> it's gonna be a terrible scene. Oh no. I don't know how we're gonna do this. She's gonna fucking break down. This is gonna be so fucking sad. Maybe Itami can be her new dad. I don't fucking know, man. But honestly, today's episode, I think Lele takes the crown for appealing to me. I don't know. Lele in the hazard suits, it's so cute. She's the coup today. She's highly analytical and she does goofy, funny things that doesn't even match her cute self. The hazard suit, for example. I think it's very cute. I'm getting the appeal of it, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.